the red, yellow, and green zones, really seeing our children. What if I gave you a permission slip that said, your job is to feel good? And what if I told you that the better you feel, the bigger impact you can make in the world? And in fact, that that is the magical parenting strategy that we've all been searching for. Hey, I'm Heather Chauvin, wife, mother of three boys, former social worker, breadwinner, recovering hustler, and stage four cancer survivor. Beyond all of these titles and labels, I'm a human being just like you, attempting to navigate it all while feeling good. My goal on this show is to show you that you can live an energized, sustainable life both at home and at work. My attempt is to keep it real with stories, interviews, and random thoughts. This is not a business or career podcast, and it's not a parenting podcast. It's both and so much more. You will laugh, you will cry, and you may even get a little frustrated with the truth you've been hiding from yourself. I believe all human behavior is a language, whether it's through your children, your health, or your relationships. And when you learn to listen instead of react, we begin to understand what it truly means to feel alive and in control. It's time to ditch self-sacrifice and step into your brave zone. All right, everyone, I'm excited. I'm going to be reading from my book today, page 57 the chapter around really understanding our children, and I'm going to be talking about the red, yellow, and green zones. Every time I talk about these zones, um, it's one of the most downloaded podcasts. This is something that I teach inside of my mastery coaching program, which you can check out at heatherchauvin.com forward slash mastery. Uh, There's a wait list right now. And once you're on the wait list, you're going to get an email with more details on the program. Um, And if we are currently accepting applications, um, you will be notified. So this week on the podcast is all about vulnerability. And Tuesday's episode, we talked to Von Jacobs and she was talking about her own personal story of you know, being the woman that everybody else wanted her to be, the successful lawyer, and just checking off the boxes. And the more we show up in our lives for the women or for the the woman that everyone else wants us to be culturally, in our homes, whatever, we forget who we are. And when we forget who we are, you become angry, you become resentful, you become chronically overwhelmed, fatigued. And then it's socially acceptable and everyone's raising their hand going, me too, me too, me too. But no one's actually doing anything about it. They're just kind of like, oh, I must be normal because I'm chronically tired. And I see this everywhere. And it's not normal to be chronically tired. We need lots of rest. We're carrying a lot of baggage that's not ours. Uh, We have a lot of responsibility, a lot of obligation and guilt And my job is to help you manage, not even manage, heal those parts of yourself, the chronic people pleaser, the the chronic overachiever, all of that magic, um, and redefine who you want to be and how you want to feel. Because it's vulnerable to be ourselves. It truly is. The day when you decide enough is enough and I'm just going to change the way that I live, work, play, and parent... um, yeah, magic happens, but you got to surrender to it. And if you're not ready to do the work, you're not going to do the work. But when you're ready to do the work, you will find any way possible to do the damn work. So let's dive in. Chapter, what chapter is this? Let's see here. We're on chapter four, really seeing our children. And if you not if you haven't already pre-ordered the book, you can pre-order it at dyingtobeagoodmother.com. You can also download our workbook. Um, pre-orders mean the world to me. Um, I self-published my book, which means I paid for it. Um, so for those who don't know, 
um, self-publishing is, yeah, I paid for everything. And the more books we get during pre-orders, the bigger impact it's going to make on visibility and the bigger impact it's going to make on the world. So if you are considering purchasing a book, but you get very annoyed with pre-orders like I do, and you're like, I just want it now. I just want it now. I get it. I get it. And if you've gained any value from this podcast, it would mean the world to me if that's all you did was pre-order the book. So go to dyingtobeagoodmother.com. And when you do purchase from the book page, you're also going to see the pre-order bonuses. So I can entice you a little bit more to pre-order. Um, so if you buy one book, I'm going to be giving you the intro in chapter one via audio and behind the scenes of making of the book, all in audio version. And if you uh, purchase four books, not only are you going to get those gifts, but I'm also going to give you a free ticket to my online virtual event called Aligned and Alive, which is happening March 6th or March 26th, sorry. So you can actually give that link out to as many people as you want, um, but to qualify for that link to give away those tickets, um, you have to purchase four books and you can mail those books to friends. You can do whatever you want. You can gift them. They can come to your house. You can make everybody read them, whatever your soul craves. So dying to be a good mother.com. Thank you in advance. All right. Page 57, really seeing our children, the red, yellow, and green zones. Imagine yourself driving a car. As you approach a red light, you stop and wait for the light to turn green. Then it finally does. You go and keep going until you see a yellow light so you slow down and prepare to stop. We recognize and respect these signals when we're driving, yet override similar cues from our body. Why don't we listen to what our body is trying to tell us? At some point, After working with these families, I started talking about the zones. I honestly don't remember when the whole concept even came up, but I began to notice and think and talk about them with my clients. I was now teaching and coaching outside of my job. These were the clear, there was a clear pattern of emotional states that people operate from. I began referring to them as the three zones, red, yellow, and green. The red zone. When you're in the red zone, you're so revved up emotionally, so overcome by big emotions like anger, fear, and shame that we're unable to process information or communicate effectively. When we're in the red zone, we're you, we usually know it. In fact, in addition to feeling it emotionally, we're also experiencing our heightened emotional states through sweaty palms, rapid heartbeat, and more. In the red zone, we're most likely to lash out, say, and do things we later regret. These aren't actions we've thought through. They're knee-jerk responses to the intense emotions we're feeling in the moment. It's in this place it's best for us to avoid engaging in decisions with others because we're too rifled to express ourselves to take in what other people are saying. Instead, this is a time to step back and do whatever we need to do to digest and process our emotions. The yellow zone. The next level down from the red zone is the yellow zone. This one can be harder to identify both in ourselves and others. It's where we're bothered, even agitated, but not necessarily acting on it. Children and adults alike may be in their yellow zone after a long day of school or work or after something upsetting has happened. One of the challenges of the yellow zone is that we may not even notice when, we're, when we ourselves are in it until we suddenly tip over into the red zone and do something that we later regret. Seeing when we and others are in our yellow zone takes effort practice, and focus. People often tell me that they or their children don't have yellow zones, that they go from green to red just like that. We literally never found this to be the case. It can seem like we and others skip the yellow zone only because it too, it was too subtle to notice, or we were too distracted to pick up on yellow zone cues. Nonetheless, we do our best through the yellow zone on our way to red. The green zone. The green zone is much easier to place. 
is where we're calm, open, and in a good place to engage with others and generally enjoy our life. This is the ideal place to start a new practice, whether it's a new morning routine or meditation, a new kind of exercise. All of these habits are are useful in every zone, but they're often easier to start when we're in the green zone. Over the years, as I've presented these zones to various clients and groups, some have compared the concept to emotional states of regulation. To be honest, I've never studied that. The concept of these zones just came to me as I was working with people in my job and in my classes. Regardless, using the zones to guide decision making has been profound to me, profound for me and for my families and my clients. One day after presenting the concept of the three zones at a school, the principal came up to me. That was a total game changer, he said enthusiastically. Don't try to solve problems in your red zone. He was right. By learning to disengage when we're in our red zone, we can avoid a lot of unnecessary conflict, drama, and misunderstanding. By mastering all three zones, we can transform how we relate to ourselves, our lives, and others. All right. That is my Coles Notes version on the zones. And why am I telling you the zones today when it comes to vulnerability? Because vulnerability automatically brings us into our red zone. When you are about to take a leap in your life, whether it is quitting your job, starting a business, um, you know, having an uncomfortable conversation in a partnership with your children, with other people, really confronting your resistance head on, transforming your life, doing the work, the first thing that happens is your body says, what the fuck are you doing? And the more aware you are of what zone you're living in, and the more aware you are of what zone you're headed to, the more aware you are on how to regulate your emotions. And when you master your emotional regulation, guess who benefits? Your children, your employees, your partners, your friends, every human being that you come into contact with. So I hope you enjoyed that. And if you feel called to pre-order, I hope you do because I'm going to be throwing some bonuses at you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being you. And also just a heads up, if you are interested in the mastery coaching experience, um, head on over to the wait list, heatherchauvin.com forward slash mastery. And I look forward to potentially seeing you on the inside.